All right, FAQ number three. Uh, what about the book of Enoch? So some of you kind of getting ahead of me there, you know, asking that in the comments from the last FAQ video. I was trying to get a bunch of FAQs done the other day, and it just had a bunch of things come up, some distractions and whatever else. So I'm getting back to it now. But yes, good question. What about this thing of the book of Enoch? I have one right here. This was actually sent to me by a brother. Um, the books of Enoch, you have the three different types there, the Ethiopic book of Enoch, the Slavonic Secrets of Enoch, and the Hebrew book of Enoch. Okay. Um, let me explain what happened with this whole thing. Okay. There are a couple places in Scripture where it talks about, uh, like there's the thing of the book of Jasher, and you know a couple different things like this. And uh, I believe the book of Jasher, actually, if I remember correctly, it's just Jasher is another way of saying Joshua. So it's like, you know, what, what the Lord will do a lot of times with the thing is the book of Adam or something, the book of Moses, and it's just talking about Genesis, okay? But ironically, it's kind of interesting because the Bible, the King James Bible, does not anywhere say the book of Enoch, okay? Where this whole thing comes from is found in... I mean, you have uh, the first reference to Enoch would be Genesis chapter 4, verse 17. Cain knew his wife, and she conceived and bare Enoch. Okay? And um, Genesis 4, 18, and unto Enoch was born Irad. And, and it goes down through Genesis chapter 5. There's a lot of references. Luke chapter 3, verse 37, which was the son of Methuselah, which was the son of Enoch, which was the son of Jared, which was the son of Malaleel, which was the son of Cainan or Canaan, I guess would be the way you could say it there. Hebrews chapter 11, verse 5, By faith Enoch was translated that he should not see death. But then in Jude uh, 1, chapter 1, verse 14, it says, And Enoch also, the seventh from Adam, prophesied of these, saying, Behold, the Lord cometh with ten thousands of his saints. Now what happened is, early on there, let me just look up another verse here quick, um, I mean, even before the Bible was, even before the Bible was completed, um, people were already starting to change it. And so you had these people coming along. Many of them are Gnostics, and they, which are, Gnostics, basically is just a group of people, heretical people that are seeking for like hidden things and stuff like this. Uh, the Gnostics kind of became the modern day New Agers, uh, occultists and things like this. And so they look and they see, oh, well, it says there, you know, in, in the book of Jude that Enoch prophesied of these and it's some stuff that he's written. So they capitalize on that and they say, well, we can come up with this thing of the book of Enoch. And so any kind of little loophole or any kind of little thing like that in the Bible that they can capitalize on, they say, well, see, this is an extra book. And, of course, if you've seen the, the video on the whole Septuagint thing, uh, that's basically what this uh, origin guy did. He wrote a bunch of extra books and, and tried to claim, well, these are actually part of Scripture, and then they came out with a lie that this is actually the Greek translation of the Hebrew Old Testament that Jesus and the disciples were using. Absolute nonsense. Um, you know, it's always been a move of Satan to try and... Um, to try and... Uh, counterfeit and try to add to or subtract from the written word of God. Okay, so the book of Enoch is not at all in Scripture. Okay, why? Well, because it's never mentioned in Scripture. And you aren't going to have anybody in Scripture referring to this book of Enoch. I mean, it does not even say it in the book of Jude there, the in the book of Enoch or whatever. Um, let me just find this one verse. I can't think of where it's at right now. But, you know, it just, it never ceases to amaze me how much people want to try and, you know, change Scripture. Okay, 2 Corinthians chapter 2, verse 17, For we are not as many which corrupt the word of God, but as of sincerity, but as of God, in the sight of God speak we in Christ. So, you know, Paul's not saying there, we are not as some which corrupt the word of, of, of God. We're not as a few, or there's some over there in the liberal. No, many which corrupt the Word of God. That's all that this thing is, okay? And, you know, I've heard some reviews of it. I mean, it's, 
I get weary after a while because it's like, brother, could you do a study, an in-depth study on this and that? I'm only one man, okay? And I can't be the, the answer to everybody's issues, you know? Uh, if I ever get around to reading the thing, yeah, I'll probably do a big study on it. But this is not a real big priority because other people have done the study. Other people have done the research. And again, you know, I got to rebuke Scott Johnson because he'll refer to this thing and he'll be like, well, maybe it's not as good as scripture, but, and then he'll like quote stuff about it to prove that the angels are going to come back and, and bear offspring with, with women or something. I don't need the book of Enoch to prove things like that. Okay. The Bible talks about stuff like that. So in the end times, you know, again, Scott Johnson's got a lot of problems. He's, he's a novice when it comes to scripture and he's, you know, again, he gets into this situation where, you know, he can do some simple studies and he does a good job early on, but then, it, you know, people start worshiping him and his position and emulating and stuff like this. And they're like, you know, hey, Brother Scott, could you do a thing on this? Could you do a thing on that? And there's such a, a dearth of biblical knowledge. I mean, we're living in a new dark ages, you know, as far as understanding of Scripture. And so then you get you get this feeling like you have to provide answers to everybody. Um, no, you don't. Okay, there are some of you, you know, maybe one of you out there should do a study on the book of Enoch. Uh, I don't say that if you're newly saved. I mean, if you've been saved for a while and you, you've been grounded in the things of the Lord, you know your Bible pretty good, read the book of Enoch and make a review of it. You know, I mean, when I can find good stuff like that, I'll send people to it. Absolutely. So, uh, the, B, the book of Enoch, no, it's not scripture. No, you shouldn't bother wasting any time on it. It's just a Gnostic heresy that was written after the completion of the New Testament. It has no basis at all in Scripture. There is no such thing as a book of Enoch in the Bible. So don't waste your time on it.